Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for my latest videos. I heard you can cube. Yep. So let's see a walkthrough solve. Alright. Okay, so I'm not really that good at cubing, but I averaged 15 seconds on 3x3. Three three, so I don't know how good these walkthrough solves are going to be for you, but let me just try to teach you something. So I am going to do white cross. I am I do white and yellow. So I'm going to put green on the bottom. Um, move it over, insert blue, move orange over, insert red. Now I think, because I don't want to break up this pair, I'm just going to insert the pair first, and then I will insert orange. Now I have this corner, so I'm going to insert this, and put that. So I'm about to break up this pair, so, whoops. But anyways, now I have this pair, so I can just insert it into the back, like so. Now I have to rotate. Oh, well, actually I'm about to get a dot case, so let's do sledgehammer. Okay, so now I got a square case. So, now I have... Okay, so... So, for this scramble, I see this coffin and this coffin. I can insert these two processes by doing an RF2. Then I see this block right here. I can insert it in the bottom by doing a D prime R prime. And then I see this coffin. I can insert it in the back by doing a U prime B2. Then finish off with a D. And as we can see, it also builds an X box. So first pair is already solved. Now for second pair, I see the corner is way over there, and the edge is in the right spot. So what I'll do, is I'll do a D2, R, U, R prime to kick out this, then another D2, then do an R, U prime, R prime. Now while inserting the second pair, I also see this pair right here. So once I break this pair by doing this pair, I'll insert it in the back by doing a U2, L, U, L prime. Then I'll do this pair by doing something like this. So I'll do a Y prime. Then do this. And to avoid the dot case, I'll do a sledge hammer. And do O L G A prime. So for the second solve, I think I'm going to have to go with yellow. So I'm going to move this green piece over here. So now I have orange. Answer. Before I do that, I'm gonna put the red on top. So now orange, insert there. Uh, green, red, blue. Now I have this pair. Now it seems like I have. So I can take this edge out and insert it with the corner now. Uh, so I guess I'll rotate, wait whoops, so yeah, and don't have to rotate for this. So that's the optimal way of clearing it up. And I think this oil level is like this, and G, B, bro. So for this scramble, what I instantly see are these two cross edges. I can put them in the bottom between 
this crosshead by doing something like a D, then an L R prime. Then I can insert this one, this block, by doing an R prime F R. But uh, I won't get an X cross if I do that. If I do something like this, then I won't get an X cross. But if I do something like a D, then I'll clean X cross. So I'll just do a D, then do a Y, then insert this block. Then for the second pair, I see this corner and this end. I can just do three moves. Third pair. Fourth pair. And maybe I can do something like this to insert the fourth pair. And oh well. He'll skip with the U prime as the AUS. So this last solve is a very, very easy scramble. So, right away, I see I have two cross pieces already solved. So, I also see I can make an X cross by moving this edge up. And I can connect it with this. I have this giant block now to move over here. Now I can move this in. And I don't have amazing first pairs. So, uh, I think I am going to go with this because I can insert it into the back. So now this pair. So as you can see, sorry. Oh no. Uh, yeah. And this pair I'm just gonna rotate. Uh, I, I'm not gonna do full O oh, oh. and oh, feel looks good. I think it looks like it. Boom, feel looks good. What a prediction! So for this final scramble, I'll do yellow cross. So to build a yellow cross, I can build an X cross one more time. So I see this uh, block and this edge. I can just do an R, U prime R2 to create this block, then do a U prime F2 to change the clock. The first pair, I see these two, so I'll rotate here by doing a Y prime and solve this one. Then for the third pair, see these two, something like this. Now for the fourth pair, this one right here. So I'll rotate here, then do a U, then I'll solve this one. I know it's pretty inefficient, but that's the only algorithm I know for this case. So for OL, I got a lightning bolt for the U2, then do this algorithm, then another GA term. Thank you so much, A Cubed, uh, for having me on your channel. Um, this was a fun collab, maybe sometime again. Uh, yeah, it'd be pretty fun to do it again.